Hello Mac users, my name is Marilyn Brown. I'm an online teacher and I wanted to create a quick tutorial about how to use Cam Twist Studio in a very basic way, picture in picture. This tutorial is gonna help you utilize the Cam Twist software by creating a picture of your screen and sharing it with your video feed. There are 10 steps, so please stay tuned for the whole thing. Um, it makes a lot of sense when you just download the software and do this along with me. Pause if you need to, no big deal. Also, if you just wanna have a little reference sheet, head to the blog post where I wrote all of these steps out. There, are, It's a little bit much to read, but once you've seen the video, if you just need a little refresher or like you kind of forget, oh, what was I supposed to do here? You can see those 10 steps written out on my blog. First things first, you are going to need a Mac computer. So PC users, sorry, this is only for Apple computers. Um, that's it. Step two, head to camtwiststudio.com and download the CamTwist software. You can see that I'm already on the website. Right here it says get CamTwist for free. You download that and then install it onto your computer. It's okay, I'll wait. I mean, literally just pause it. I don't, I'm not actually, okay. Obviously I already have it downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and launch the program so that we can get started with this tutorial. CamTwist has a ton of amazing features that can help you create a television studio right here on your computer, but that's not what we're gonna do today. As an online teacher, I use a lot of props in my classroom because I'm not face-to-face -face with a student. I'm basically FaceTiming with a student. I would have to show different things to exemplify, so using pictures or flashcards or printed out emoji pizza, but there's also the opportunity to use digital props and rewards. So to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect, that's live from your desktop streaming onto your video, just follow this tutorial and I will help you get there. All right, so once you have it downloaded, open up the software. Um, you will see three different steps and then a settings window within that application. Okay, so step one, the thing that you're going to do here is select webcam and actually click that select button. It's going to automatically launch the HD picture. Um, right now you can't see anything because we don't have a preview open. So go up here to view and select preview. You can also shortcut that with command P. All right, right now it has my FaceTime webcam, the built-in webcam selected. I do have an external webcam and it's already formatted to the size of this window if you wanna know how to do that. I'll create a separate tutorial for that. So I have selected my external webcam and there I am, hello. Okay, so now you have your preview window open, right? This little box here that I'm in on the screen. But how do you add a picture in picture? Let's say I have a digital prop on my computer, like I've saved all of these different images and I actually want to show them to my student. In the application window, you're going to select, just click it once, desktop plus. And instead of clicking select, click picture in picture, so the PIP button, and it completely blocks my face. But as you can see, it's actually sharing what my entire desktop shows. First, let's resize this window and move it out of the way because I won't be able to teach my students if they cannot see my face. So way over here on the right, you can see the settings has this position, it's this little black square. You can move it anywhere you want. I typically put mine up in the top right-hand corner, um, you can put yours where you want. If you want it more in the lower corner, that's cool. I also scale it down just a bit um, to 0.6 because you can still see the prop, but it's kind of out of the way. It doesn't take up too much of my video real estate. All right, so let's just place it down here in the corner, but this isn't really doing much for us because I don't want to share my entire computer screen with my student. That's not actually going to be helpful. Um, so what you need to do now is go into your web browser and open up a completely new window in your web browser. Let me resize this a little bit. So this new window is going to be where my digital props will live. And what you need to do before you do anything else is create kind of a, what do you call it? Like a dummy set of slides. So I'll just call them dummy slides. Um, so go to your Google Drive you can see it way over there. Um, go to your Google Drive and create a new Google Slide slideshow. These are gonna be dummy slides. You're not actually using these for props. It'll make more sense in just a second, so bear with me. So do this now with me live, right? Go into your 
Google Drive, and I'm just going to call it GS Google Slides um, Props because I'm only going to use this particular window for my Google Slides props. And that's it. I just, it's a blank slide. So now I've got my dummy slides window open. When you go back into Cam Twist, there are a couple things you need to do. Right now, you want to look under the step three column and select PIP Desktop Plus. But I personally use the picture in picture for both my props and my rewards. So I have to rename this and I will call it Google Slides Props. Okay, make sure it's selected and under settings, go to desktop plus settings. Instead of sharing the full screen right here, I'm gonna confine this to an application window. And now what Cam Twist wants to know is which application window do you want? It says select from existing windows, go to Google Slides Props. So every time you open up this particular slideshow, when you save your settings, it will always remember to open up this application window when it's live on your screen. Okay, so if I'm looking at it, it's got the entire window here. I would like to resize that. So let's select capture area. So in that same settings window, if you scroll down, it has a button that says, make sure it's clicked here, resizable selection, select capture area. You can take this resizable black box and put it right around the Google slide that is open. Now you can see that that modified what is in this little window right here. I am done selecting. And I like to make it just a little bit taller than the, um, actual size of the window. You can play with that and see what works best for you, but I'm done selecting for now. Scroll back up in settings and go to PIP settings. Um, okay, so that's really basically it. When you're in the online classroom and you want this to get a whole lot bigger and fill this video feed screen, under PIP settings, when you have Google Props selected, scroll all the way down and swap it with the video source. And here you can see I'm the tiny one and my Google slide is ginormous. Um, and a student will be able to see whatever it is that I want them to see um, in the video feed, nice and clear. So let me go ahead and pull up some Google slide props that I used recently. Now I have a Google slides presentation open. It is for a specific lesson. And I use these different images. Some are short video clips, right? Like GIF files, I know you probably see GIF files. It's okay, I'm just gonna say it wrong. Um, and so if I want a student to look up, oh, look up, look down. So they don't just have to look at me, they can look at the different things that I have saved in this particular set of Google Slides. As you're toggling between this, remember to only click swap with video source. As you start messing with this other stuff, it's gonna mess with what you look at. So like, whoops, if I start messing with the angle, you can see the image of me spinning around. I have done that on accident during class. It's very confusing and the student is like, teacher, where are you? Why are you, why are you backwards? I'm confused. Okay, all that being said, let's switch this back to the video source. Now, before you quit Cam Twist, just like anything on a computer, make sure you save, 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 save. So right here under step three, it says save setup. Uh-oh, but wait, hold on. I'm not on my dummy slides. I'm actually on my Google Slides props. So I want to go back to the Google Slide props dummy slides that I made, the blank one. Then I can click save setup. Make sure you save your setup. I'm going to rename this PIP tutorial. You can call it lesson one if this is your very first thing you're saving. And I like to uncheck that box because I do like to save my video source since I have an external webcam. Click save and then there it is. Once you relaunch Cam Twist, this picture in picture tutorial or whatever you saved it as will show back up. You double click it and all of your settings will be right there. Um, remember to have your dummy slides open in their own window, right? Because it will remember that. If you save it while it's on this, it's going to save that window instead.
And that's confusing because I don't always teach that lesson. One more tip that I want to make sure to add. If you want this box to disappear for whatever reason, use the blue check mark and it hides it. And then you can recheck it and it comes back on. If you at whatever point click this X, which is of course right next to it and very small, it will completely remove that entire effect. So you don't want to do that. I did that in class several times when I first started doing this. And then I was like, oh no, let me relaunch my saved setup, but it pauses the video feed. It's just something that you definitely want to avoid if you can. So all that being said, that is how you can create a basic picture in picture effect for your video feed in your classroom. If you are an online teacher like me, I hope this helps you get started with digital props and rewards. Um, make sure to play with it before you enter the classroom. There are a lot of things to remember. So get comfortable with the software before you start doing this in the classroom. I hope that this helps. Don't forget to like this video. Please share it with your friends who are trying to use picture in picture on their Cam Twist Studio. And let me know what other videos like this that you want. I have one about creating image overlays. I have one coming soon about welcome slides and goodbye slides slash sharing your WeChat QR code. But if you have other ideas, let me know because I would love to help create more content that's going to help you. All right, Mac users and online teachers, happy picture and picturing. That's not a verb, but that's what I said. Okay, bye.